So I had this PC for six months now. And when we bought this PC, it was pretty dusty inside. And of course we upgraded a couple of stuff where the intake fans are. There are still too much dust in there. Right now I'm gonna show you what I do, how I clean my PC slash setup. Cause you're gonna wanna clean your switcher if you're a streamer. You're gonna wanna clean your keyboard, mouse, monitors behind the monitors. I'll show you how I do it. And so this might help you guys to clean your setups as well so with all that let's get started on the first thing okay the first thing you guys need to do is take your window off your pc and usually you guys would have like because i know some of you guys might have those gaming pcs where you can actually open the window instead of unscrewing but mine mine you have to unscrew and if yours needs to be unscrewed it would either be if yours was an open one you can obviously like open it easy but for me i don't have that type of pc so i have to take this off from the back side so i'll just take it off right now and then after that and then i'll show you the next step on what to do to clean your pc if you want to but i'm just showing you how i do it all right so you guys already took it off turned off my pc and right now what you're gonna have to do is just clean all this junk i don't know how well you guys can see it on camera but to me there's just a lot of dust there so what you're gonna need to do is use this compressed air can you can buy them from best buy target walmart you guys can buy these anywhere but all you guys need is like either a one or two back depending how many pcs you have or depending on how big your pc will be so you guys might need this so now i'm gonna be cleaning it i'm gonna show you how i clean it what we need to do first is if you want to clean the fans that's fine if you want to clean the fans but you got to just make sure to hold the fans down and not let them spin because if you let them spin of course it'll get dust off but it won't get that much dust off your fans like you want it to like super clean so you're gonna have to hold one of your fans and just spray it <laughs> So you guys gonna have to clean everything just make sure to be careful because if you have this compressed air can some compressed air cans can let out some type of liquid so you don't want that hitting your components inside your pc so i'm just gonna do a quick time lapse of me cleaning my gaming pc and then i'll show you the next thing i do to clean my gaming pc slash setup Okay, you guys might need to start doing this from now on, but it depends if you have a air-cooled PC like me. This is not water-cooled, this is air-cooled. But in here, like literally I put my hand in here, it literally feels like pretty warm in here. So eventually another upgrade I would like to do is get an AIO just to make it all water-cooled so it's not too like pretty heat up in here because it was just on because I just turned it off right now. So what you guys are gonna wanting to do is, so if you have an AIO, of course you have that filter in the front or back or wherever you have it you're gonna have to clean that as well but since mine is air cooled my filter is at the front so this is like really really dirty like i think i can you guys can see that look how brown it is because i have cats and if you have cats of course they're gonna be jumping everywhere you're just gonna want to just take a couple little spritz as well because i didn't just like i didn't do that all i did is just simply like did little spritz like that's what all you guys need to do for the filter and for your gaming setup for your PC. You might need this. So just gonna have to simply do that. Once you're done with this, then you can put it back. If your intake is at the front, you're good. Like right here, you should be good. But if you have the intake in the bottom, usually it'll get really dusty down there. So you just gotta make sure to clean that up as well after when you're done with this. I'm just gonna cut the camera right now and then I will start it back up once I'm done cleaning under here and the filter. And then after that, then I'll probably move on to my setup. And then the final result, what my setup looks like when it's like very clean, like shiny clean. So yeah, let's cut the camera right now and I'll be back with you guys later. Okay, now what you guys need to do is, since your PC is all looking clean, of course you're gonna wanna do like the top also, so let me just do that real quick. All right, so what you're gonna wanna do now is like, cause I have my mouse in the way, so I'm just gonna move it. Uh, and I turned on my PC. So yep, give me just a sec. Anyways, that's probably and probably why I can add to the videos bloopers. Now, since your PC is off, you're done with whatever you needed to do. All you need to do is just put the screen back on right here. But I'll probably not do that because this, as you guys can see, like it has, it adds tint. Like just look at the PC or look when I do this. 
so yeah i'm going to just not mess with it and then like later off camera i'll put it back on and i will clean the window of the pc so i'll clean it in just a little bit but anyways let's move on to the next part all right since you cleaned your gaming pc and you're good now you need to clean your mouse and your keyboard and any other things that you might have simple little spritz like that All right, your keyboard is now cleaned, but your mouse is just simple, it's just, that's pretty much it. And now let me move on to what else you would have. Of course, you guys kind of see it right now, speakers. So you might want to clean that. Let me just turn the camera real quick. All right, you guys got speakers, simple, just and on top. And if you have them on here, you can just simply do it like that. Pretty simple. Now let's move on to the next part. All right, you have a switcher and you're a live streamer and you want to go from camera to camera. So just. Yeah, I might be running out some. So yeah, I'm trying to make this video quick as possible because I'm running out of this. And yeah, I don't have another can because the another can I was trying to use, I was trying to make the same video. But what happened was the audio wasn't even on. So I didn't get my audio. So I basically wasted another one of these cans. So look at that, your switcher. It's all cleaned. Anyways, let's move on. All right, so now what you guys are gonna wanna do is clean behind your monitors, on top of the monitors make them clean yeah i'm running out so i'm trying to be as quick as i can with this video clean underneath your monitors even your monitor stand you guys might need to clean that as well but if you see still some dust on there then all i can recommend is like probably take baby wipes and just take them just clean them for now or if you don't have those, all you gotta do is just take a paper towel and you can rinse that paper towel under the sink, under a sink and just squeeze dry it like really good. Make sure it's just damp and nothing is just dripping out. So, yep, and I'm officially out. But the good news is that's pretty much the video because there's nothing else to clean. So that's a tutorial on how I do it. And if you guys want to know how to do it, that's how to do it. Now I'm just going to get a cinematic shot on what it looks like clean. So yeah guys, that's how I clean my gaming PC and my setup as well. So now all I have to do is just basically put it back on. Now all I have to do is just do that and that's all of the video. That's pretty much all of it. And as you guys see, it's not really, I don't know if it's focused, but I'll see you guys later. Peace.